All right, we are uh, here with Richard Thompson, the digital design coordinator and studio professor. Hello, Richard. Hello there, Megan. All right, what is your favorite part about working in education? Uh, the students, the interaction with the students, um, and also the, uh, the, I'm not saying that it happens every day, but that moment where you see the passion uh, from mm -hmm. the student coming through from the student. So it's always that. Um, and I'm going to tell a story, an anecdote from um, the, my past, so before NJIT, well but before NJIT, I remember I was just starting out teaching and a student, I was teaching students how to model a, uh, a vehicle mm -hmm. in, th in 3D. And this student, who was a good student, but had actually talked to me about the fact that they didn't, um, they didn't know exactly where they were headed kind of thing. Mm -hmm. He, I was teaching that for one class, and he stopped me after the class, and he looked at me and he said, this is it. This is what I want to do. And oh. it sent chills down my spine. And I was that's like, okay, awesome. that's why I like teaching. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, do you have any personal projects you're trying to get off the ground? Yes. <laughs> I, well, there's a couple things. One is um, a longer-term project is this animation short called La Piazza. Mm -hmm. which is about a, a gelato salesman who has to combat change that is happening to his old piazza mm. in Italy. Um, so that is a much longer term project because I'm trying to do it all on my own kind of thing. Mm. Um, a shorter term project that I want to work on this summer, um, and I haven't yet completely uh, figured it out, but I want to create an animation largely based on... Uh, Charlie Chaplin's um, uh, performances Ooh. or like a scene and see whether I can actually transpose that and make it a, a short animation with a completely different character, oh. right? Not, not him, but using that. And I want to experiment uh, with that. I haven't yet figured it out in terms of the motion capture because there's AI I was going to ask, capture. it is motion. Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm really experiment with that. And right now it's called... I've called it, what is that, what have I called it? The, um, the Clown Prince. The Clown Prince. I like it. I like it. <laughs> if only our motion capture worked. <laughs> I, I have a motion capture. You do? I oh. have a small, uh, like, uh, I, got a, I have yet to unbox it because I've been so busy. I'm sure, uh, I'm but sure. But this summer is I want to unbox it. It's just a, it's a small starter kit, mm -hmm. but it's inertia-based motion capture. Ooh. But I would suggest that that may be on the out pretty soon too, because I saw this other motion capture that is just done that can be pulled from footage. Oh, wow. Uh, now, so I think you need to have a clean footage, but I want to even experiment with taking an old film, like an old scene from Charlie mm -hmm. Chaplin, mm -hmm. and seeing whether I can pull motion capture data from him gotcha specifically that's gonna be so interesting yeah. uh i hope so yeah <laughs> what's your favorite song Ooh, ouch um uh, maybe dear god by mid -Yor. oh i have so many uh let's dance uh let's dance by david bowie anything by david bowie mm -hmm. david bowie's as far as i'm concerned i mean it's maybe dating myself but the uh, he's the consummate Artist. Genius. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is the ugliest animated film you've ever seen? Um, not necessarily the ugliest, but I think it was an experiment that didn't work, and that is... Um, uh, what was the one? The Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet. I, that sounds it's so It's 2D and 3D. I mean, it's 2D, but the, the 3D... <laughs> I know, it's probably a favorite of some of my students... But uh, the story makes no sense. The characters, uh, the characters change. Uh, they change and, and don't make sense in terms of their through line. And also the characters are kind of, some of the characters are kind of like animals, but they're kind of ugly animals. <laughs> Probably my favorite, my favorite is the sloth and... The mm -hmm. sloth at the at the uh, DMV, not not oh. a, a different movie. Uh, what was no, that? That movie? was Utopia. Yeah, <laughs> Utopia. The sl I, I I watched that that scene like ten times in a row, and I couldn't stop laughing each time. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, have you ever seen a ghost? No. No. I'm I'm not going to say why. No, I haven't. I <laughs> I'd like to say that I have, but I haven't. 
Okay. I know people who say that they have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some once. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um, what course would you like to add to the catalog someday? If any. Ooh. Um... Actually, probably motion graphics. Not that I would teach it, mm-hmm. but like in ter- oh, in terms of like me teaching it or no, no, just something. Yeah, no, do. I mean in terms of the, I, I, I think that it would be great to have a like a full course devoted to motion graphics, two mm. D and three D. I agree, great help, especially the students that are like doing the minor in UI UX yep. right now and stuff. Yep, great. Yep, yep. So that's I mean I, I there are other ones. But it also also changes with the, as the technology changes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that would be it probably. I mean, I, I've taught a class in in sort of like animation short creation, but you really need a full year. Yeah. For that, you know, mm-hmm. one semester is not enough. No. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for giving your time to us today. My pleasure. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs>